Hello. <clears throat> Today I'm just going to make a quick demonstration about this little fella here, Neptune. It's now exactly halfway through the sign of Pisces, which in and of itself is good for Pisces because it's our ruling planet. Now the downside of this is if you have your moon in Pisces, so you could be any sign of the zodiac and um, depending on when you were born, your moon could be in the sign of Pisces. Now I've used as my example chart here, just a person born on the 3rd of March 1965 at 6am in London. So this is completely, totally made up uh, date of birth for somebody that I mean, there might be somebody out there with that date of birth, but this is just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. Um, now, Neptune's the planet that looks after and rules Pisces. I did a, a, a rather lengthy YouTube video about it a while ago, which I'll put the links on in this newsletter today. And um, the important thing to remember about Neptune is that you want to get the positives of it, not the negatives, okay? Now, um, I don't think this will give us uh, an analysis of it. No. So Neptune is the planet that looks after Pisces. It's transiting through Pisces. It's been there, let me go back in time, since around about 2011. It's been chugging its way through the sign of Pisces and now it's exactly halfway through. This is the whole sign here, so it's halfway through. <clears throat> and because it's the planet that looks after Pisces, it means that people that are the sign of Pisces, this is the sun here, sun in Pisces, will come into their own, will understand themselves, will get a higher connection to their life purpose, positive, positive, positive. Because when your ruling planet goes into the sign of your sun sign, then you get your aha moments and you feel more attuned with who you are and where you're going. So Pisces, theoretically speaking, depending on whether or not they're reformed Pisces like myself, um, will start feeling better about their lives. Now, if your moon is in the sign of Pisces, that is a completely different, as they say, kettle of fish. So the moon in Pisces, so Pisces is the most intrinsically emotional of the signs. And with your moon here, you have access to acute emotional sensitivity, which makes life complicated and action difficult. You can end up being the famous Piscean fisher of water. There's certainly an astrological consensus that this is the sign of the martyr and awareness of suffering. And as the 12th sign, you should also be uniquely placed to resolve all emotions. Hence, moon in Pisces is often seen as the combination giving mystical insight. So there's pluses and there's minuses to every planet and every sign. And if you have your moon in Pisces with Neptune transiting past it, I mean, it does depend what degree your moon is. I mean, I've made this chart for the moon has already transited to 10 degrees into the sign of Pisces and Neptune at the moment is around about 15 degrees to the sign of Pisces, but that's still a conjunction because it's within six to eight degrees. Uh, so, we're not going to get nickety pickety about things. But if you have your moon in Pisces, depending on what degree it is, okay, so we're talking about people that are halfway through, their moon is halfway through the sign of Pisces. So anything from about uh, five or six degrees Pisces to about 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 degrees Pisces, um, this is who I'm talking about at the moment. And it's going to continue, so Neptune will continue to transit through, bing, 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 through the sign of Pisces. I'm going forward year, year, year by here until around about 2023. So we've got a lot of time to work out the best ways to, to work with this planet. But because it is the planet of um, psychic connection, illusion and delusion, you don't want to aim towards a delusion. So too much Neptune will cause you to completely lose contact with planet Earth. If you imagine that's the Earth in the center of the chart there. Um, so please be aware of, if you've got Moon in Pisces, what Neptune might be bringing for you. You want to get the positives of it. Now, because I work in private practice as a therapist as well as an astrologer, but I still think being an astrologer is a form of therapy, um, <clears throat> I've come across now a number of clients that have their moon in Pisces and they're not doing very well with it. Now, it's probably slightly different if your sun sign is Pisces as well. 
okay? Um, but if you're any other of the signs of the zodiac and your moon is in Pisces, I really recommend that you have a complete clear picture about what your emotional needs are and fill them without having to resort to being deluded, okay? Or getting into alcoholism or going overboard with um, wanting to disassociate from practical reality. Um, because Neptune is doing that for the particular people that I'm talking about. It's not helping their emotional self because the sun is who you are and the moon is your emotions. It's your feelings. And you might be a Pisces that's got your Mercury in Pisces as well because Mercury can either be in your own sign or the one either side of it. So as a Pisces, you could have your Mercury in Aries or you could have your Mercury in Aquarius. And in fact, if you're an Aquarius, you could have your Mercury in Pisces. And if you're an Aries, you could have your Mercury in Pisces. So this might be affecting you as well because Mercury is about how you think so too much Neptune and you'll just want to lie around and daze and and you know uh, zone out and not uh, connect so the positive way of uh, Neptune aspecting your Mercury would be to meditate to um, spend some time not all of your time because you want to spend the majority of your time being grounded and eating and looking after yourself and your family and your work and whatever um, but spending some time meditating because actually under a Neptune transit if you've never done meditation um, Neptune will allow you to do that it would allow you the space and the ability to do it now the other positive um, for Neptune is that it will allow your imagination to be more attuned so if you've got moon sun mercury in Pisces then Neptune will allow that imagination to uh, be born or Wow, another word I want to use. Allow your imagination to be more attuned, yeah? Um, so, going back to what I'm making this uh, point about in this video, is that if you do have Moon in Pisces, please be aware that Neptune's transiting it at the moment, and you definitely must keep your feet on the ground and get practical to s solutions to any problems that you might have. Now, because <laughs> of the nature of the fact that I'm an astrologer, I'm a homeopath, I'm a therapist, people will contact me from three or four different areas for th three or four different needs that I might be able to help them with. So, hypnotherapy, relaxation, homeopathy, health problems, astrology, my life's falling apart, whatever. Um, and I am now getting far more Pisces clients contact me. Now, they're not particularly, um, most of them, this is the Pisces sun sign, mind. There's not much actually wrong with them, so I'm not treating too many people with any pathology, uh, but they wanted to sort of um, work out their life path, that type of stuff. And since I am a Pisces myself, and I do understand the whole Pisces thing, then you know, I probably could give more tips, helps and suggestions than somebody who isn't a Pisces because I'm, I myself am directly under the influence of Neptune at the moment. I, my sun sign is actually 15 degrees to Pisces and Neptune is conjunct at the moment. And it, it isn't going to happen again in your lifetime, my lifetime, our children's lifetime or their children's lifetime because in this particular chart's case, this person, this fictitious person, they were born in 1965. When they were born, their Neptune's up there in the sign of Scorpio, and it's taken this amount of time zzzz, to today to get to there. Neptune has worked all of its way around. So it's not even going to get to being opposite where it was when this person was born until the year. I don't even know if the computer's going to go forwards that far. It might do. So it'll be directly opposite, round about there, uh, 2042. So that's an opposition. But it's never going to get all the way back to where it was when this person was born on this particular program because it only goes up to 2100. I don't think I'm going to be alive then. And maybe you won't either. Um, so the, the, the point I'm making with this particular Neptune transit, it definitely is a once in a lifetime thing. And if you have any planets in Pisces, Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus and Mars, it's, it's not really going to be that important for you to understand Neptune so much. Uh, uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, the other planets don't freck. I mean, you're not going to be, unless you were born yesterday, you're not going to have your Neptune in the sign of Pisces anyway. 
but if you've got sun moon or mercury in the sign of pisces we need to have a chat okay and you need to make an appointment and we need to work out how to help you so that's just a little bit of information about neptune and its transit if you if you're coping with it fine then go for it but i really urge you to uh, find better solutions to it and we can make a, an evaluation of where you're at and work together to find the best solutions for you so i shall just go back to today's date i think i'm the fifth today so that's where the planets are today moons in aries I wasn't going to make this podcast or this this uh, recording yesterday because the moon was in Pisces. You would have just heard a load of burble off me. Neptune on your moon. Mercury, get in touch.